Welcome to a new bought it and forgot it. I am 100% guilty. I buy things with all the best intentions and then forget about them, including the Yucca palette from Natasha Denona. So today I'm gonna to be playing with this. It is just gonna be an eye look. This will be a talk through. Everything on my face though is in a different video that will either be up before this one or after, but either way, it will be up. These are all listed down below. Everything on my face is listed down below. I do earn a small commission if you click on those links to make a purchase, so thank you so much for supporting my channel. But without further ado, let's get creative and play with Natasha Denona. All guilt aside, I bought this sometime back. I couldn't even tell you, and I never pulled it out. I was pregnant with my last child at the time, so it was definitely last year. Never ever opened it, and well, I did. I opened it to look at it, but at the time I was going through such a slump in my pregnancy that I just, I didn't even know what to do. I never even wanted to sit down and do my makeup. Untouched, as you can see, guilty as charged. Quite frankly, it's well overdue and it's expensive and I need some inspiration. I'm a little burnt out, so I don't, I don't have any excuses for myself. I'm gonna use it. My eyes are primed with the Sigma Persuade. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go into the shade Citrine. It's a very olive mid-tone green. I'm gonna use a Sigma E35 brush. I'm intimidated. I am intimidated. To start, I'm gonna put it on the inner third of my crease. I'm gonna try to be a little less perfectionist in my video and do the blending off camera. I find they take up quite a bit of time when I'm trying to do blending on camera. However, if you guys find inspiration through my blending, just leave me a comment and then I'll figure out the best happy medium for both. Blending off camera actually saves me a little bit of sanity. Most of my time filming seems to be that blending process. I have a touch of, touch of ego with my blending and I find I need to be a little bit more of a perfectionist for my own happiness and liking. I need to stop doing that. And now I'm gonna take an Unearthly Cosmetics A4 brush and I'm gonna pick up the shade Tipu. I don't think you can get this brush separately. It was part of a Valentine's collection. I'm gonna pack this into my crease, probably the, well actually the last outer two thirds. I'm using a giant fluffy blending brush because I want to like really be diffused. I'd like the shimmers to be more of the focal point for me today. And I am filming this a touch early, so if my kids wake up, I'm gonna put you guys on hold and go take care of them. And who knows how much time will pass by before I get back. I'm gonna take Valley on a Melt 818 brush. I'm gonna pack this into that crease just a little bit tighter. You guys have to tell me if you're a little bit like myself. I have been practicing doing eyes first. It's very hard for me to get into the habit of doing eyes first. I'm more of a face first eyes second kind of person. And from what I've seen, it seems like most people tend to do their face first. I've been trying to get into the habit of doing my eyes first, trying to feel inspired by my eye makeup to figure out what kind of a look I wanna do. I've been pulling out products to do my face first and trying to figure out what do I wanna do to complement my face makeup, whereas I feel like doing my eyes first makes it easier to figure out what I want for my face makeup. And now I'm gonna pick up the shade Flax on a Sigma E45 brush and pack it into the outer corner. And I'm using my Sigma brushes because I have a video planned for the Danessa Myricks brush set. I wanted to use that set for quite a bit before making a video on it to figure out how I like them. So that video will be coming hopefully within the next week. I just, I needed to get them washed and cleaned so that they would look good for the video. I'm going to very carefully 
pack all of this onto the outer third first, or the outer half, and then gently bring it into my crease to meet that first shade that I laid down. About like that. I'm gonna take that same shade on a different brush. This is a Makeup Forever brush. Actually, I don't even know what type of brush it is. It's hmm, a 210. And I'm gonna place this along my lower lash line. I don't wanna bring it in too far. And bring it up and out to meet the outer third. I'm gonna take the green shade Calithia on an E27 brush and blend out that brown shade Blending my lower lash line is always the most difficult. I love these cream to powder shades. I feel like they're the easiest ones to use in this formula. Hers is probably the best cream to powder formula I've ever used. And now for my inner corner, I'm gonna use a melt pencil brush and pick up the shade Camu Camu, and I'm gonna pack this in before I place any shimmer, because I wanna bring it down that inner corner on the lower lash line and up onto the lid just a little bit. I really want this shade to pop on its own without being tainted by any shimmers before I lay anything down. I don't even know where to start for shimmers. I've not even swatched this. I have no idea which shimmer shade I wanna use. These are the three I'm looking at and I kinda of wanna pull out a single because I haven't played with any of my single shadows in so long, but I think for sure I want to use the shade Makia. Makia? Maybe? Do I want to do that? Oh my gosh, I don't know what I want to do. Oh, there's too many beautiful shades. I don't even know why I waited this long. I'm going to use a touch of my NYX glitter glue and put that on my lid just to kind of help make it a little more tacky, but also because I want to see how shiny I can make these. I'm going to gently place it over that deep brown. I'm gonna take Makia on an E54 brush and I'm gonna start by placing this on the outer half over that brown shade. Oh, it's so pretty. Man, I kinda of wanna put this all over my lid. And Komorebi on my finger. I'm gonna bring that over the front half of my lid and blend it into that other shade in my finger. I'm gonna take this single shadow by Terra Moon Cosmetics called Critical Mass on an E36, and I'm gonna use this as a bit of an accent on the inner crease. Yeah, about like that. And then I will be right back because my kids are awake. I'm gonna go be a mom real quick. I'm gonna take a light dusting of Como Rebi on this little brush from Sigma. This is an E36. I cleaned it off. I'm just gonna dust this on my brow bone because I want to, because I like to. And now I'm gonna take the Camu Camu eye pencil and put that in my waterline. And I cannot for the life of me ever do it without hurting myself. It's not doing the best showing up. I don't know if it's a me thing or a pencil thing. Maybe it's a me thing. Eh, let me just perfect it off camera. I'm gonna do my mascara and try to get this corrected. This is the completed look with the Natasha Denona Yucca Palette, which I am 100% guilty of buying and forgetting. My look is finished off with the Kiss Nude Natural Lashes in the style Wide Slacks. I cut them into halves to fit my eyes. Hopefully you feel inspired to pull out your own palettes and be creative. Otherwise, thank you so much for spending your day with me. Do something for yourself because you are worth it.